Hello, how's it going? Um, I'm going to be making a few uh, videos on some of the older recording equipment I have. I've been recording uh, seriously home recording since the uh, early 70s, actually, when I got my first reel-to-reel -reel deck um, to track sound on sound. I won't go into that now, but... Uh, and, and I've gone through all the different um, formats through the years. So I, I started with the um, reel-to-reel -reel format. It's a nice fresh box of Ampeg, Ampex tape. Um, then I went into in the late 70s. I bought a Tascam 144. Actually, it was TAC. It was still TAC. Um, and that recorded the four-track onto cassettes for four track cassettes. Um, in the early 90s I bought a Philips DCC digital recorder. Um, most people don't even realize this format existed. It was very short-lived. DCC, Digital Compact Cassette. Quick explanation here. These were developed by Philips Norelco Phillips, and Norelco Phillips is, are the people who designed and had the patent and trademark on compact cassettes. And they wanted to upgrade their compact cassettes for the new digital market, so they wanted their new players to be able to play old analog cassettes, plus the new DCC digital cassettes, so they made them the same, they wanted it to be exactly the same size so that the drawer would hold either the cassette or the digital cassette. Digital cassette. Um, Sony didn't like that idea, so they came up with the DAT, digital audio tape. Um, digital, uh, the DAT machines were the standard for quite a while in uh, recording studios for mix down purposes. But let's talk about the four track because I'm going to do other videos on some of those other machines. I went through a series of uh, different four track cassette decks. Um, once I was sort of moving away from reel to reel. And uh, I, after the 144, I bought another one in the mid-80s, and I don't remember the, the um, model number of it, but it was another TAC Tascam. I'm not sure if it was Tascam by then or it was still TAC. But in the late 80s, later 80s, I bought this, the Tascam 424. Now, the 424 was actually uh, a great little deck. It still works fine after all these years, and it still sounds good. And uh, by the time this came out, they had already put uh, DBX noise reduction in it and a lot of extra features that made it really, really good for musicians. Um, so I found this box of old four-track cassettes that I had, and I wanted to convert them into my DAW. Uh, either put them in uh, Reason, which is the software I'm, I use in my computer, or initially just transfer the tracks to this TAC uh, <laughs> Tascam DP24. Uh, I also have a, an older Tascam 2488. This is a 24-track uh, digital machine. So, I lucked out with this because it turns out something I'd never noticed before that there's a little switch on the back here and when you throw this switch it takes these inputs and outputs inputs and outputs and you throw the switch and these become strictly outputs track one two three and four so all I have to do is hook this into four tracks of this Tascam and I can record directly on, and now I have a digital 
version of my four track tapes. But what if I didn't have that option? What if I didn't have those four outputs? And many of the four track cassette recorders that were available did not have this option. So let's talk about it because I thought about it when I first found the box of four tracks. Well, how am I going to transfer them? Well, I already had it worked out and here's how I was going to do it. I'm going to put them, when you record on a cassette, you usually wait 15, 30 seconds before you start recording on a cassette. So hopefully you've got a little blank spot at the beginning, enough to do this. Put a microphone in the recorder on the first channel, record one, two, three, four, and clap your hands. All right, then put the microphone into track two, listen for the count on track one, one, two, three, four, and do that on track three and four. So now you have one, two, three, four, hand clap, and then a hand clap on track two, three, and four. So when you download your tracks, you can do it individually even, download them into your DAW as uh, a pair of stereo tracks or individually one track at a time, you'll be able to see that hand clap and you can line up your tracks. And now you have your old four track cassette recordings uh, that you can put into a digital format. And that's it. I just wanted to uh, say that. And um, as I say, I'm going to be making some videos on the uh, history of the DAT machines, the digital audio tape, the DCC, the digital compact tape. Uh, where did uh, the reel-to-reel -reel, uh, market dry up in the late 70s and uh, what it was like before it did dry up? It was a very expensive format. And uh, we'll be doing that soon. So thanks for watching. Um, hit subscribe below so you'll know when I put another video out. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.